Okay, this is just a pretty basic physics problem um, that uses concepts with normal force and forces of friction. It's just asking how fast does this shopping cart need to accelerate for this cereal box right here to stay connected to the cart instead of falling down. So it's asking for acceleration. And it also tells us that the coefficient of friction between the cereal box and the cart is 0.38. So first we just need to find out what the what the forces on the cereal box are, and that's just going to be the normal force that's perpendicular to, to the surface, which is right here, normal force. It's going to be equal to the force of the cart, because there's no angle here or anything, so the normal force we know is going to be equal to this force, and um, it's just the force that's keeping the cereal box from, you know, going through the cart, basically. Um, gravity, and for gravity to be a force it's just m times g and the force of friction ff so those are the three forces basically on it well there this is the fourth one right here but it's the same as normal force so let's start with the force of friction mu equals the force of friction divided by the normal force so that's just the same thing as writing mu times the normal force equals the force of friction. And that's just a formula you should know. And if we want this car, this um, cereal box to stay in one spot, we've got to have these forces right here um, pretty much canceling each other out, you know, equaling zero. So gravity and the force of friction. So um, I'll write it right here. The, the force of friction, which is mu times Fn has to equal this gravity, this force, m times g. So we can't really solve that. We can't because we don't know what mass is. We don't have a mass. And as of now, we don't know what the normal force is either. But as I mentioned earlier, this, the normal force is going to be the same as the force of the shopping cart. And so we can just basically substitute the force of the shopping cart in here for the normal force. So we know that force equals mass times acceleration. So this is the force right here, and it equals mass times acceleration. So we could just plug that in there. So mu times mass times acceleration equals m times g. Now let's solve for acceleration. So we're going to divide this by mu times m to get a by itself, and divide this by mu times m. Now, since we weren't giving masses earlier, this is perfect because the masses right here cancel out. So acceleration just equals gravity divided by mu. And so acceleration equals um, 9.8 meters per second squared divided by um, 0.38, which has no, no label. And that's just going to equal 26 meters per second squared. So the, the force, the, the acceleration of this car has to be 26 meters per second squared to keep this cereal box right here in one place. Alright, thanks for watching.